So, we weighed in this morning at 72.6 kilos, so up just a little bit, 0 0.1 uh, grams from last week. No, wait, 0 0.1 kilos, not grams, 100 grams. So, yeah, just up slightly from last week, which is okay, because we had such a big jump the week before that. So going up, I would have been happy even if I dropped it just a little bit, like uh, 0 0.2 to 0.3 would have been okay. Uh, to go up to 0 0.1 is still fine because uh, it's still going up and however I am in my head I do know that it's possible uh, that my weigh-in was actually affected by what I ate last night because after I went out for dinner I didn't end up eating as much there as I thought I would so I got home and had roughly a thousand maybe 1,000 to 1,500 calories left over I think to, um, to hit and I ended up eating quite a bit after 11 o'clock last night between 11 and 12 so that would have probably affected my weigh in this morning considering how much I ate which would have been I think at least like 800 to 1000 calories probably. That means that uh, I may have actually been a bit lower if I hadn't have eaten last night but it's hard to tell uh, judging by this morning it's all good though so I still need to pick a week where I'm gonna um, weigh myself every day just to like see how it fluctuates because I'm sure it will go up, go down, go up, go down. Then I can take an average for a whole week and just just because that's something different, um, see you know see what it's doing on a daily basis, so I can get an average for a week rather than just judging it off one day because you know there's always different things sodium intake for a day, you know eating a lot at night compared to not eating eating a lot one night that can affect the way in the next morning so I will try that soon right now Sunday morning well actually it's Sunday afternoon one o'clock just at the gym gonna go and hit some legs and I'll see you guys in there what's up guys back again with a commentary for my leg workout from Sunday and starting off with some squats so working with 87.5 kilos on the bar here and I ended up hitting three sets of five reps which I was happy with I would have liked to have gone five sets of five reps but uh, on the fourth set I did only manage four reps and the fourth was an absolute grinder which I didn't record I'm sorry about that but because of that I then dropped the weight back down to 80 kilos for the fifth set and just did as many reps as possible and then dropped it down to 60 and did as many reps as possible uh, again and so what I'm actually doing, if I haven't mentioned this before, is one week I'm going for between three to five sets of five reps, and then the next day I do train that muscle group. So looking at legs, for example, today or this day I did um, sets of five reps. So then the next workout will be sets of three reps, then back to sets of five, then back to sets of three. So what that's doing is allowing me to drop the weight a little bit uh, but continually get stronger in each rep range so I always aim to add at least 2.5 to 5 kilos uh, to each of those weeks so like the last time I did sets of 5 I was only working with 85 kilos so today it was 87.5 the same as last time I did sets of 3 reps it was 92.5 so the next workout which is coming up this Friday will actually be uh, 95 kilos on the bar what I think that's going to do is it allows me to actually drop the weight each week uh, but continually work on getting stronger in each rep range and I believe it just gives me a, a little bit of time to kind of recover from the heavy heavy session which is my three set uh, three rep sessions uh, and therefore I feel like that gives me more ability to actually add weight to the bar for each session if that all makes sense. Moving on to uh, the rest of the workout did some Romanian deadlifts as you can see here these were superseded with the leg extension then coming up next you'll see some walking lunges which were actually the finisher movement and using a barbell I normally use dumbbells for this uh, but using a barbell just for something different I wish I had a longer space to walk in because I could only do like three to four steps each way and then I had to turn around or the bar was going to hit something so that was slightly annoying but you know what uh, I don't know, got it done, so that's the main thing. Uh, also did some leg press, did some 
Uh, what else did I do? Some good mornings as well, and some calf races, of course, trying to grow those calves. So that's going to wrap up this commentary and this portion of the video. Got a bit of arm workout footage coming up, and then a bit of a talk after that. So enjoy the rest of the video. I'll see you guys later. Can't suffocate my spirit. Cause I'm the king of my own throne, throne, oh, 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 oh. King of my own throne, my own throne. Another successful arm workout complete. So I just showed you guys pretty much all of my arm movements. Missed out some of the um, shoulder movements, but to give you an idea of how long it is, I counted it today as a total of 51 sets normally. Today I actually did one set less. Excuse the wind if you can't hear me. I actually did one set less and so that made it 50 sets all up. And um, yeah, that's a long workout. <laughs> Most of my uh, workouts I think are between 30 to 40 because I always do more than one muscle group. So yeah, good though. I am wondering if I should uh, maybe make it a bit less because uh, yeah, there's so many different ideas about how many sets and reps you should do. I'm not worried about exactly how many I'm doing, just am I going like high volume to the extreme where it's actually counterproductive to grow in my arms. Obviously I'm actually only hitting shoulders directly once a week, whereas arms, I'm hitting them twice a week because I have this day dedicated to shoulders and arms and then I also hit triceps after, well, associated with chest and biceps with back so um, yeah it's just something to think about which is kind of why I did one set less I actually plan to do uh, like three to four sets less because I was gonna I normally do five sets for my arm movements and I was gonna do three but I still did I think I did four and five so I basically did the same amount of volume uh, it's something to think about but right now I think it's just gonna take time to be honest it's just a matter of being patient, continuing to work at it. Another good workout in the books. So, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And as always, I will see you all next video.